happy July 18th everybody here we are looking at my crimson sweet watermelon actually just the vines because there ain't no watermelon on it yet but um, right over we have some nice looking melons there and another one right over here look at that one so pretty um, on this side we have yet another one where did it go oh right there look at that isn't that cute um the one that's been on the vine for a while check it out it's all cracked up I don't know maybe I heard one of my jokes and I cracked it up ha 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 um here we have my sugar baby watermelon just hanging around see get it hanging around um and right next to it we have my other sugar baby watermelon just kicking it back we'll see what happens with those hopefully they'll give me something good and here's my corn my corn 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 it's not doing much because uh yeah look it didn't get all pollinated but this the um i forgot the name right now the tassel that's it got all dried up and it didn't get pollinated and then we have some aphids and some ants up in there doing their little thing we'll have to spray them in a little bit here we have um, my other corn plant look this one is just confused I think because there's the silks all hanging out but no tassel can you see that like no tassel what's up with that I don't know we'll see we'll leave it and see what happens my other little miniature corn it looks so cute and here we have mint nice and minty my yellow squash look at all the pretty little buds up in there hopefully they'll do something good cherry my little cherry tomato doing better and here's my green squash look at my green squash Look at that. Look, it's got like three big, huge growths down here. Look, there's one back there, another one. That's the original one over here, and then another one right there. It is just absolutely gorgeous. I'm so excited. Next to it, we have my pepper, my bell pepper. It's doing stuff. Um, other than like getting bigger and thicker, if you can, I don't know if you can see, like, look at the thickness on that stock. Oh my gosh, it doesn't seem to be doing much. So we'll see what happens. It'll do whatever it does when it's time. Um, here's, oh, look at that ant on my basil. This basil is not so happy. Look, it's all sad and yellow. I think I've been getting a little too much water. Um, marigolds look at the pretty marigolds they look so pretty they are just so pretty um here's my mint look at the mint isn't it great now this part right here is great look these are all great great and then once you turn over here it's like ah what happened they're not so great moving right along we're gonna look at my cucumber check out the cucumber it is just like spilling over and it had the most beautiful flower right there look at the huge actually it's not that huge but it's huge compared to the other ones that I've had so far it's just so pretty that female flower unfortunately I don't I didn't see any males so probably didn't get pollinated we'll see um, some pep bell pepper and another bell pepper back there. They're doing their thing. And here we have some tomato, cherry tomato. Um, it this one's the one that had tomatoes here, but I accidentally snapped them off. Good thing is that we do have some additional blooms up in here, so I'm sure I'll get some tomatoes off of it. And look, somebody's been... Ah! You see that? Somebody's been eating my leaves and they're still there. Oh my God, that is so gross. I'm gonna have to take care of that later. Um, here we have basil, 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 basil. And my sweet banana pepper. And my other little sweet banana pepper right there. 
more sweet banana pepper. This one's kind of like, I want to go that way. I want to go that way. I don't know what's wrong with it. Maybe it's okay. And my onions. Look, one of them choked. The other one's still there. And here's the other two. They're doing okay. They're still hanging around. Um, my jet star. Look at my jet star. It's getting little buds. Is it? Aren't they pretty? And lettuce. This one's filling itself back in. But it. I'm gonna pull it out because it's really kind of nasty and bitter. Try it again in the in this uh, fall to see if it tastes better in the fall. Here we have the crispy frills lettuce. Probably gonna pull that out too. Didn't get to try it. Maybe I'll try it before I trash it. And here we have another bell. Pretty bell. And look at the bells with actual peppers on it. Look, isn't that gorgeous? They're just so beautiful. But that one in the center, I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of yellowish. Not sure why. Um, the one next to it also has some peppers on it. Look, right there and right here. It's so cute. They're like miniatures. And here we have my Jetstar. Look, there. these tomatoes are getting so huge that there's actual cracking. And I thought the Jetstars weren't supposed to crack, but they're getting really big. And I'm trying to train this vine kind of out so that it's away from the peppers because it was just taking over that whole area. They're so pretty. Roma. Roma hasn't gotten much taller. I mean, the tomatoes are getting bigger. Look at these. They're so heavy. It's only about, oh, I say one and a half, two feet tall. It's not very a very tall plant. So I don't know. Let me know if I'm doing anything wrong with these guys. I wish they would start turning. If anybody knows a trick on how to get them to turn um, red, that would be awesome. I, you know, because I want to have ripe tomatoes right from the vine. Here's um, my cherry plant. My cherry tomato plant is just going crazy. Absolutely, positively crazy. I mean, look at this. It's just got tomatoes everywhere isn't that awesome just great uh, moving right along cucumber no action another cucumber this one here does have one another little cucumber growing on in there and another little flower that it may have opened up the other day I don't know I didn't see it and down below we have my stevia check out my little stevia it's doing so good. Pretty studio. Here we have a tomato sucker from my cherry. Hopefully it'll do good things. Next to it, we're going to pull out that lettuce because not the season right now. Here we have um, upside down squash, more upside down squash. And look at my poppy that said good night. Some marigolds hanging around literally um here we have um yellow squash looking much better seems to like its new home and down here we have my little green onions they're not there's not much of a change lettuce that will also be pulled out because apparently it's not lettuce time right now cilantro i'm hoping it is doing okay I'm hoping that it'll go to seed and give me some seeds because I used up just about all the seeds that were in the cilantro packet because, yeah, that's a different story. We're not going to get into that. Um, here we have uh, some basil. Look at that basil. Doesn't it look pretty? It looks all yummy. And my strawberries. Look at my strawberries. There's no strawberries on the plants. But, hey, is that something that I should be concerned with? Look, do you see that pink? on that one should I be concerned should I take that one off I don't know I'm hoping that it'll they'll send out some runners and I'll plant the runners on the rest of the hanging plants for next year we'll see how that goes and here we have some more marigolds they're looking pretty and then some pansies here we have a 
huge tomato sucker from my Jetstar. Um, hopefully it'll um, root itself. If it doesn't, that's okay. We'll have other plants for the pot. Here we have my um, little green onions. Remember, most of these are from seed. The only one that's left that's from the store is this one here. It's doing okay. So um, that was um, my garden. I'm going to leave you with my raised bed. Once again, if I'm doing anything completely just wrong or any suggestions that you might have, just um, let me know because I could seriously use any help that you guys can give me, especially with getting these tomatoes to ripen up. Um, I really want them to ripen up on the vine because I don't want to take them off and let them ripen away. I want them right from the vine. Um, if you see that, I think that might be a problem. Let me know what y'all think. Um, okay, until next time, thank you for watching. Bye.